Hi, I'm Kyle with DIY Auto Homeschool, and today we're dispelling a myth about wheel bearings. The issue that I have is a bad wheel bearing, and as a general rule of thumb, what you know we say when we're checking wheel bearings is they make a very distinctive sound, like a, a growling, howling noise gets worse with speed, doesn't usually change with uh, engine speed, it's just related to vehicle speed. Um, and the way uh, I check them uh, primarily, and the way a lot of people check them, and the way you'll see a lot of people say to check them, is to find a road where you can get up to you know, 40, 45, 50 miles an hour, and kind of swerve the vehicle back and forth, left or right, listen for the noise to get worse one way and then get a lot better or almost go away completely going the other direction so and that's and that's a really good check for a wheel bearing uh, what you want to be careful of with that well when you're looking at that is the common information that is incorrect that tells you that that can dictate which side of the vehicle has a bad wheel bearing. Uh, in general, what they say is, if you're going up, if you're going like 45, 50 miles an hour, and you start steering left and right, if you steer to the right, then you're going to, the suspension on the left side is going to load up, uh, and the suspension on the right side is going to unload. So you're putting a heavier load on the left side of the vehicle, and if that wheel bearing is bad, it'll get louder. But then if you go to the left, you'll load up the right side and unload. Or you yeah, load up the right side and unload the left side. And then if it gets better, then obviously you found that the, the left side, it gets quieter when it, uh, um, when it gets unloaded. But the problem with that is quite simply that it's just not true. The, it, it's kind of a crapshoot if you do that. Now, if you do the steering and you get it to go worse one way and go a lot better or almost all the way the other way, you are not guaranteed, but most likely looking at a wheel bearing. It's very, very common for a wheel bearing that, that to be how a wheel bearing acts, but that will not tell you which side. Here in just a second, I'm gonna show you guys that exact test. Um, but, the situation we're in is I know which wheel bearing is bad on this vehicle. I already know uh, because actually both of the wheel bearings were bad and I replaced one of them for a portion of a video that I'm making and then I'm going to replace the other. But while I have one that's bad, still bad and one that's good, um, then I, I want to show you guys how to check it and how you can get tripped up if you try to follow that uh, old, uh, old saying that you can determine which side has a bad wheel bearing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up to speed, and since my vehicle is very loud, and I caution you against this if you're, if you're going to try this, be extremely careful. I'm going to get up to speed, I'm gonna shut the vehicle off, I'm gonna throw it in neutral, it's a manual transmission, and then I'm gonna turn the key back on so I still have full steering. If you have to shut the vehicle off to quiet the engine down, always remember to put it, you know, put it in neutral and then put it back in the on position so you unlock your steering. You don't want to get stuck not being able to steer. That would be bad. And just like at home, I've got people who are looking at me crazy because I'm talking to myself in the car. They're probably like, what is this guy doing? Anyway. Engine's off. Right? You can hear that growling. Now listen. As we make this left curve here, it goes away. Swerve back. Here, come back. Goes away. Swerve. Here, come back. Goes away. Start this back up. So going with that information the fact that when we go uh oh goodness when we go to the left it gets worse and when we go to the right it gets better 
you know, if we follow that age old adage that when you load up the suspension on one side, if it's louder, it's that wheel bearing, then that would obviously tell us that our right wheel bearing is the wheel bearing that's bad. I can tell you 100% for sure that the left wheel bearing in this is bad. The logic behind the old saying would tell us that the right wheel bearing is bad. And it's unfortunate that some people are going to take that information and they're going to end their diagnosis with that steering test and they're going to go replace the wrong wheel bearing and then they're going to come, you know, be upset because they didn't fix the problem. So, yes, if you're steering left and right and you get it worse and then almost goes away and worse and almost goes away, you're almost certainly looking at a wheel bearing. But it, does, it will not tell you what side uh, is bad. For that, you actually have to jack the vehicle up and do some checks. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through what some of those checks are and how you can determine if a wheel bearing is bad. Okay, so once you've found out that you have a bad wheel bearing, or most likely have a bad wheel bearing, what you need to do is figure out which side it is. Now, you can usually tell if it's coming from the front or back. Now, what we're going to be going over this time is the front, though the same steps apply to the back for the most part. So, what you want to do is grab it by the top and bottom, and you're going to feel for any play with the, the if the tire were to be moving like this, you know, in and out at the top and bottom. In this case, there is none. And then what you're going to do, you're going to spin the tire and you're going to listen or you know, kind of feel for any noise. Now in this case, you can kind of hear it. The noise you hear isn't the brakes dragging. You can kind of hear a little bit of a roughness. And here's another thing. The spring on the strut. When you spin a wheel that has a bad wheel bearing, you'll feel that roughness in the spring. When you spin a wheel that doesn't have a bad wheel bearing and you put your hand on this, it'll just be nice and steady, smooth. You won't feel the roughness. But when you have a bad wheel bearing, you put your hand on that spring, you will feel the roughness. Yeah, it's hard to put it on camera what, you know, what to feel for or what it is, but you will definitely know. If, if you don't have a bad wheel bearing and it's fine, that spring will feel just the same while the wheels turn. It's nice and steady. It won't, it won't have any vibrations in it, nothing. But when you have a bad wheel bearing, you will feel it in that spring. Now, shaking the wheel, spinning the wheel and listening and feeling the spring. Those are the big ways and almost all of your wheel bearings you are going to find that way. The other thing to consider is that a bad wheel bearing is going to generate more heat than a wheel bearing that's working the way it's supposed to. So what you can do is if you have like an infrared thermometer, you can come down here and take the temperature uh, at the like at the hub right where the head of the rotor is um, if you have a plastic uh, hubcap on it might not work as well but uh, take the temperature in the same spot on the left side and the right side and in theory it's it's not always perfect but for the most part you should be able to find a noticeably higher temperature on the side that has a wheel a bad wheel bearing right after you finish driving this would be something you'd want to do before you put it up on jack stands so with those steps, checking for play, spinning it and listening and kind of feeling as you spin it and then grabbing the spring or checking temperature, you should be able to determine which side is actually bad without doing basically guesswork based off the steering left and right. Because that, I'm telling you, it'll bite you eventually. A lot of times it's right. It, you know, it works out, you know, it's 50-50 kind of, but, uh, it's not it's not 100 percent so don't take it for you know fact that if you you know go one way or the other you can figure out which side is bad jack the vehicle up support it on jack stands and do the checks that i just walked through and you should be able to find which wheel bearing is bad thank you for taking the time to watch this video i hope it helped you figure out your problem if you'd like to check out some more videos subscribe check out the other videos we got on the channel and i'll see you in the next video